second half. The Nuggets trail by 10. Now here's Moutier. Eight points for him. Tipped away. And up the court come the Celtics on the break. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. And you know what? You allow a guy to get right to the rim like that. That's your only option. Yeah, exactly. I mean, free throws are always better than a layup. So I'd agree with you there, Greg. Boston making a switch here. Bradley's check in. Denver's gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Moutier kicks to George. Another three for Denver. And he came off that screen, and the D just didn't get over the top of it. Yep, weren't there in time enough to challenge, Greg. And when that's the case, you can mark those up for him. Here's post off. It's hauled in by the Nuggets. Not too much congestion in the lane. I think he could have gotten a better shot that time, no question. Wilkins can't hit. Bradley with some nice D. Celtics leading by eight. Finish off the break. He has six. Oh, wow. Four or five to start the half. Coming out on fire. Now, here's Moutier. D right on him. Roy with the rebound. Roy's got three rebounds so far in the game. Goes up the baseline. Can't get it to go. For Denver, they've gone three of seven on field goal attempts here in the second half. Wilkins dishes to George. And another miss spot by Denver. Boston's gotten a success rate of just over 50% from three point tonight. Four of seven shooting. can't guard us on the perimeter. Still, Spread the floor and isolate up top. Well, Spacing, fellas. Spacing. Right now. First and Fifth and rebound. And they're a top 10 shooting team from the foul line. Pretty good company for that team. And you go back to their offense, the most explosive in the league. I mean, everyone talks about the great offense beating great defenses. And I tell you what, they make it difficult to hang with them. O'Neal's check in for Moody. Yet way to get there first and be willing to absorb the contact. No question about it. No flop there. That was a direct shot to the chest. Underwood passes to Brandon. Here's Postov. O'Neal trying to break free, but they'll get another chance. Outside Brandon. Good on the triple Bradley's got eight boy I tell you what he loves getting looks like that from the three-point line no one near him that's a warm-up jumper for him now the pass to George and they come right back with their own three-pointer their third three-pointer in a row adjustment time for these guys the defense has to make some adjustment here. there's a screen Underwood, guarded by O'Neal. Bradley, no one around him. Plenty of room to knock down the shot. He's got 10. Heads up play there, guys, on the assist and the finish. O'Neal kicks to George. Back to O'Neal, expanding his range. Denver gets it back. Pass to George. Here's the three. It's good. That's it. Baskets for him now, 8 for 15 shooting. As long as they keep spraying them from deep, we're going to have ourselves one exciting finish. Yeah, it, it took them a while, but now they're starting to get into a flow from outside. And boy, is that time. Bradley against George. Six on the shot clock. Here's Ozak. Oh, that's blocked. Three-pointer, and he gets the bucket. Nine points in the game so far. The Nuggets trail by 12. O'Neal dishes to George. And he can't answer back the three-pointer offline. Two-second difference between shot clock and game clock. 
Underwood, guarded by O'Neal. Here's Bradley, and again, Boston with the triple. His shooting has been outstanding here. <laughs> Definitely one of the reasons they're up in this game. And the foul called on Freak. That's his third foul of the game. Yeah, way to get there first and be willing to absorb the contact. No question about it. No flop there. That was a direct shot to the chest. Ramsey. Shot misses. Now on the court, your Mario Nuggets dancer. Welcome back as we get ready to start the fourth quarter. Not exactly a nail biter here, but you never know. Celtics leading by 15, and a look at the five for the Celtics to start the fourth quarter. To the inside, and he drops in the layup off the glass. Roy's got the first field goal of the fourth quarter here for Boston. Timely passing leads to assists, and that's been the recipe for success. Everybody on the same page, completely in sync. Tremendous communication and awareness. It's deflected. Here's the break, pushing it up. It's deflected. Here's George, takes the assist and lays it in. Picked out the pass nicely. George has got 22 points. Boston's gotten off 12 shots from beyond the arc tonight, hitting seven of them. They set the pick. Postnov, he's guarded by Nurkic. Ford. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. That's his second personal foul. And a breakdown here, guys. The hustle stats for the Celtics. Their high-energy defensive effort has paid off for them, guys, with more than a few steals over the course of the ball game. They have, but you also can't overlook how well they defended the rim as they've challenged every shot and also gotten quite a few blocks as well. The Celtics making a switch here. Carney's checked in. Both good from the line that time. Kevin, right now, they're doing a good job at the line. They're, they're hovering around 83, 84, 85 percent from the strike. Um, that's good stuff. I mean, that's, um, that's well done. Moutier with the basket. Hard to get that one off with the size difference there. That makes it a tough individual matchup for him, especially down low. Well, took on the big guys going in there and challenging them like he did. But boy, that was a nice job. There's the screen. Here's Ozat. Boston, no good that time either. And with room like that off the pick, you have got to knock that one down. Well, you know, they did everything right, Greg. They executed. All you want is a good look at the basket. Sometimes the shots just don't fall. Inside. And it's sent back by George. Out of, Out of bounds. Celtics ball as Boston oh. keeps possession. We're about two minutes into the fourth quarter in this one. This shot's just, it's not there right now with this team leading perhaps. You know, let's focus on some other areas of the game. Moutier passes to George. Now here's Moutier. He's covered by Roy. That's good from Moutier on the assist by George. Yeah, that's a difficult shot in the face of a defender that towers over him. You know, guys sometimes love proving people wrong. You know that from guys you've played with. <laughs> and, Greg, this mismatch gives him an opportunity to uh, quiet the haters and they say. Yeah, okay. Five to shoot. No good from Carney. The fadeaway was the right shot there because it got his attempt away from the defender, but the touch was poor. Here's Postnov. He's fouled out of the game. First team foul. Timeout, timeout. Denver calls time. Start it. You're so weak, Denver! Now on the court, Joe Ferrier.
Here's Moutier. And just about three minutes through the fourth quarter here. Outside, George. Outside, Wilkins. Back to George. Just five to shoot. Jacks up a three. Roy with the rebound. Roy's got four rebounds now tonight. A slight rebound advantage for them. One more column in their favor, and it's all adding up. Well, you take a look at all of the stats, the team stats, that is, and that's one of the many areas that they've had the advantage. And as a result, they've got a big lead. And count it. The shot is good. He'll go to the free throw line. I think they need to get much more disruptive defensively. They can't just keep allowing these easy baskets. That's got to be job number one right now. Nothing easy on the inside. Denver making a switch here. Nurkic has checked in. Let's get this update now from Doris Burke, who's across the way on the sideline. Thank you, Kevin. Brad Stevens had some words for his team over the break. His advice clear cut. I want to see you playing to win, not playing not to lose. I don't care what the lead is. We do not back off. And boy, that looked like goaltending. Yes, it is. And so they will award the basket there. He thought he had that one clean, but the ref saw it differently. They'll count the basket. Good D by Roy. That's the kind of D you need when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over him. Fort, he's guarded by Nurkic. Here's post off. And there's the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. That's his first personal foul. Shooting for Denver. And the first one drops. You know, you've got to like the fact that they're getting to the line. And on top of that, they're making their free throws in this half. That bodes well going forward. That one falls, so he hits both of them. The Nuggets trail by 17. There's a minute 47 left in the fourth quarter. The eight-footer, and George gets it to go. George has got 16 points here in the second half. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And on the flip side, Greg, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. Passes it to Carney. 11 feet away, and it's good. And the Celtics lead by 17. And, and so just rolling to the finish line now in what has been a very confident-looking performance for the Celtics. The sheer volume of three-pointers was the deciding factor tonight at Seattle. Yeah, they sink one, Kevin, and then they do it again. It worked. And with this effort tonight, grabbing their eighth win of the year. And in a two-game season series, you love taking charge. And so it's Boston easily grabbing this one. This one was over well before the final buzzer. The fans were waiting for something to get excited about, Greg, but they never got it. They sure didn't. I mean, they just rolled to this win. They made it look really easy. What an efficient performance at both ends. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and Doris Burke, this is Kevin. The 2K Sports.